And to be better to answer their questions than First Minister Peter Robinson. Hi. That was it. First Minister, can you tell me th three things that you have done to improve children and young people's lives in Northern Ireland? From my youngest days, when I was your age, uh, I had violence and division uh, to face and this generation of politicians has taken it upon itself to, to seek to resolve those issues and that's very much to the, the benefit of young people. In local government I was involved uh, obviously in uh, community uh, issues, I was involved in leisure facilities for, for young people, now I'm involved uh, in matters which uh, obviously relate to the health and education of young people as well. Northern Ireland are still waiting on the government's response of the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child's concluding observation. Scotland, England and Wales have produced their response and have a copy of Scotland's here, but where is Northern Ireland's? Well, obviously within the department. One of the difficulties, of course, that we have in Northern Ireland is the, the government system that we have, uh, because I could produce uh, a, a policy this afternoon uh, but in our system, and, and that would be okay if I was in the Scottish administration because it's a one-party government, uh, this way with a four-party mandatory coalition, uh, each of the parties has to have their say. We then have to reach agreement amongst the, the parties. It then comes to the executive, goes to the executive's, uh, the assembly's committees and goes through a, a process. So it's working its way through the, the, the system, but we don't have an outcome until we get agreement amongst all of the parties, unlike Scotland, who can decide that the one governing party can decide.